sets, but you look fabulous. You, I think you look exactly the same. Truthfully, that's I'm what being I mean. Get on it. How I prepare for my role? Well, of course, didn't have a lot of background information originally. I originally auditioned for Scully's Mom, and that went to Bob Goodwin's wife, um, who is a wonderful actress, wonderful actress. And I was quite happy to be cast as Mom Mulder when that happened. Um, I didn't really, uh, I knew that David and I had some facial features that kind of looked um, genetic. Um, and I knew that I was supposed to be old enough to be his mother. And, and I, I was, am, almost. <laughs> when was he born? Oh, I have so many different ages listed on the internet. I was actually born in 43, so I'm about to be... 78 in september um and when was david born he's i, I want to say like 60 or 62 yeah i think i figured that i would have had him when i was around 20 years old you know biologically speaking right. you know and so i figured that was or was it younger maybe it was a little younger that bill and i were in early marriage bill Mulder and i were in early marriage um you know i saw the sets i saw my costumes uh, I didn't know what the makeup people would do, but they didn't do much. In fact, when my cousin that Carly reminds me of saw this, she said to my mother, they make her look so old. And my mother laughed and said, they really aren't doing much. That's how she looks. <laughs> so pre preparation, there was very little. You know, mostly it was done after meeting and working with David because you have to see who you're working with. And I didn't meet him until we were on set. Um, you know, and I, just from reading the scripts, that was... You know, you glean what information you can that way and uh, put it together. You try to rationalize things as much as you can. And then, of course, over time, as the writers develop beyond the basic Bible, you know, background of the character, you learn more and more. And um, it's based on your previous. That's one of the things that can be a trap it's based on your previous performances. So you've got to have some rational, you know, some rational link between them. And in the old days when we did um, the old kinescopes, uh, that you probably don't even, do you know that term. <laughs> we would sit and watch dailies, you know. And in fact, if we were, if we had three cameras on us and they were editing, you know, in between takes, we could actually watch the tape on the screen and edit ourselves if we wanted to change something in our performance. I mean, those days seem so magical because, I mean, that was a real gift. And then watching the dailies, I mean, that was so much fun. And then so you had a better idea, you know, of what you had just done, like what you'd laid, laid down the day before. Anyway, that's a pretty long-winded answer to say there was very little preparation at the beginning. Yeah, you and David had really portrayed an intimate mother-son relationship. Is it something you guys ever discussed, or how did you approach it to make it so realistic? Oh, thank you for that. Um, because the internet didn't uh, was not very complimentary towards her relationship with her son often. But um, we didn't really discuss it. Uh, he said that I did resemble his mom facially and physically. Um, and we made some similar life choices. Um, other than that, we just relied on the script. And I liked him as a person. And of course, you're going to foster that too. You know, you work together. You're not going to, even if you didn't like each other, you were going to disguise that. But we, I, I did admire David and like him and enjoyed working with him a great deal. So, no, we didn't discuss that other than his minor reflections on his own family. Although my son ran into him at a coffee shop. When, during those years we were filming here in Vancouver prior to L.A., he ran into David. My son has a real coffee habit. And he... <laughs> sidled up to David and said, if you ever want any advice about playing my mother's son, just call me. <laughs> I know, bit, a bit of cheekiness. <laughs> I love that. What did David say to that? I, I don't know. I should. I meant to call my son today and, and sort of ask him about that incident. He's in Mexico and he's working, so I, I didn't call him. But, yeah. That's I, cute. I don't know. I'll ask him. Next time I talk to you, I'll tell you. Yeah, let me know. That's pretty funny. I like that. That's really cute. Yeah. Can, um, can you share some of your favorite memories from the X-Files with us? Oh, wow. I was asked that question once. We were doing a, a, a charitable evening 
Dave, uh, Bill Davis had organized it because his mom had died of cancer, so it was a cancer benefit. And one of the, uh, we were in this 1500 seat theater and we, you know, the mic was roving in the audience and somebody asked me that question. And my answer was probably the same now. I had an occasion where I was really angry with Fox as Mom Mulder and I, and I slapped him. But it was a real, you know, anger, anger driven slap. And we had several takes, we did several takes naturally. And uh, <laughs> I kept slapping him with the same force. Finally, he turned to the director and said, if she doesn't start pulling her punches, I'm going to slap her back. <laughs> I know, what kind of son was that? But my friend yeah, was turning 60 and, and they were having a dinner party at a restaurant, but it wasn't very far from where the rap party was for X-Files. So I wanted to split my evening between the two and it was a plus one kind of occasion and my husband was staying at the party so i asked my son if he wanted to come with me and he said he would like to do that so um he didn't have a car he was going to meet me near the restaurant where this party was taking place and so i went to the designated meeting spot and stood there waiting for him this was before cell phones of course waiting and waiting and waiting. So these two parties are going on without me and I'm standing alone on the street party, waiting, waiting for my son who's chronically late. Anyway, that has nothing to do with the production itself, but the evening of that first rap party. The second rap party was in LA and was this extravagant affair that took place at the House of House of Blues. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Do you remember yeah. Carpets? Yeah. Like, yeah. And uh, they picked us all up but where, wherever the parking lot was where we, you know, had dropped our cars and loaded us, in, loaded us into buses and they had television screens on the backs of the seats in front of us like you know like an airline but playing old x-file oh, really yeah. yeah it was fun it was fun. oh that's cool and then they had a fountain of i guess it was vodka it was some kind of vodka martini or something that was colored blue like the hustle blue bubbling in. yeah it was a hazy night <laughs> Sounds like a good party. It was a good party. Seven years. <laughs> what do you think it is about the show that keeps new fans checking it out, old fans interested, coming back, watching it? What do you think it is about the X-Files? Well, I think there's a general fascination with the, um, um, you know, other worlds, with the, you know, surrealistic possibilities of other life forms. <clears throat> And we we're so limited, you know, our own personal experience is very limited. And I think the imaginative triggers of those plot lines are, you know, fascinating, kind of like the old Rod Serling things were when I was growing up. Um, uh, I, I think it appeals to the traveler, the psychic traveler in all of us and the sort of the sort of urge to unearth mysterious things. And of course, the chemistry between David and Jillian. I mean, they're, they're, so that's certainly carried the show, as well as a number of the guest stars who play these outrageous, um, you know, beings. And once they're in, they're in because it is a kind of mesmerizing experience. But like, like you said, the interaction, the, the relationship between David and Jillian, just their characters are timeless the show yeah. itself aside from uh, a common answer is aside from the outfits with the shoulder pads and the cell phones being the size of footballs the show itself has is timeless yeah. it doesn't age it don't age i really liked your answer when you said it appeals to the psychic traveler within us yeah. i thought that was the best yeah, that's, way to that's put it I that was really great oh good i well you're catching me um I would say off guard with a lot of these questions. I hadn't really thought about it, but it, it, the answers that you've given from other people fascinate me too. I've never been much of a television watcher. It's only since COVID that I've really been glued to the screen. And I've become more so, you know, as, as television has become more um, deeply shaded with, uh, you know, the understanding of our psychological truths and, you know, and, and the world at large. And it's become more, more literate. It's become, in many ways, more the depth of theater yes, uh, I agree. and novels, and yes. so that appeals to me. And I didn't watch television as a kid, so when X Files took off the way it did, and there was so much internet chatter, 
I wasn't used, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I just simply wasn't on the internet much. I'm not even sure I had my, I was probably using my husband's, you know, the family computer at the time. Um, but I was overwhelmed with the amount of conversation over the internet about the show. And in fact, the casting director that placed me in, in the show um, told me about this and I was stunned. And she said, well, next time I see you, I'll give you a sheet. I'll give you printouts of this. And she did. And I was sort of like, wow. I, I, I was really blown over by the general response and the, and the, the minute attention that people paid to every moment of the show and how it was viewed and reviewed and viewed again and again. And then the conversation as you guys probably had between yourselves um, were so, um, they were cosmic in their intricacy. You know, they just, the constellations that were built between the, your conversations and the conversations that took place on the film script itself were amazing. They still are amazing. So, it. it was fun. It was lovely to meet you both face Thank to face. You. Yeah, we will definitely be in touch. Okay, good. We'll keep you posted. All right. All right. Thank All right. you. Bye. Bye.